<sighs> Rust. Rust is such a hardcore game. You literally spend hours and hours working, and trust me, every decision matters. Today, I'm playing solo, as always, and I only have one mission. I steal all that hard work from others. But hey, I'm not the bad guy in this movie. I'm just another player, because this is Rust. So yeah, let's go for it. Oh, that's the sound of our first victim. <laughs> Wait, if this is what I'm thinking... Did you realize what's going on there? Some players like to hide their best loot in stasis before logging off, so that in case they get offline raided they won't lose everything. And that seems like a really great idea, right? Well, uh, yeah, that's a really good idea, unless there is a rat just outside your base listening to everything. Ok, I'm going to mark their base and leave for now so that they don't know I was here. And that's what I did. I went off for a few hours and when I came back I made this architecture piece of art in order to jump into their compound. Oof, we are in business now. Ok, so the question is, where would I hide my stasis? Ok, I would personally put them on a rock or near a wall so that I can find them easily. Well, I could also check the recording of them putting the... Oh! <laughs> I was losing all hope, honestly. Wow. Finding this stash was a huge motivation boost for me, because I wasn't very positive about getting something out of there. But now, now I had to find everything. So what I did was to check my recording, to try to follow the noise of them placing the stasis, and figure out where did they hide all. No way, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's more, no way. Wow. I'm gonna get reported for this. <laughs> Nice loot, man. <laughs> I'm starting to feel bad for these guys. I don't know what to say, honestly. <laughs> Holy... No way, I, I need to get out of here. After some time, I managed to secure the best loot, and this is pretty much what I got. Sadly, as I was coming back to get the rest of the stuff, the base owners were online and they didn't seem to be too happy. But well, to be fair, I got uh, enough from them already, so it was time to find a new target. With my new acquired scrap, I crafted myself a warp level 2, researched meds and crafted some, and I went outside to explore the place. Oh. 
Holy, I just left my base. It has been like 10 seconds. I have a good feeling with this server though. Let's go for that. Is he gonna land? Oh, they, they live right there, okay. Oh my god, not again. <laughs> oh, I think he saw me. Oof. Yeah, of course he told me. Okay, let's do this. Wow, that's why he was not pushing me there. Problems of playing solo though, like I can't loot uh, half of the stuff. I'm such a greedy person, but I'm gonna go try to grab the AK of that other guy. Ah, wait, I forgot to take the face mask too. Fuck it, I'm gonna loot this sake as well. <laughs> Well, I have been greedy enough. I'm not gonna loot the MP5. <laughs> well, it, the gun just came to me. <laughs> it seems like it doesn't want to be with them anymore. My humble 2x1 was starting to feel way too small. Because of that I decided to farm up a little bit. So I went to buy a jackhammer and headed to the snow for a quick farming run. Then I upgraded and expanded my base. Nothing too crazy this time. I just uh, added some honeycomb. I made an entrance in the other side. 
And I also made a second floor. Then I researched garage door and I crafted myself a few. And the finishing touch was to add a working bunker. In case you don't know how this one works, raiders can't pass through this unless they break the door frame, that's why it must be upgraded to a swim. And in order to transfer the loot inside, you will have to use these large boxes. Okay, I think we are done. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's an online raid, actually. Yeah, the base owner just looted one of the bodies. What a rat! <laughs> Yeah, he just looted everything. I'm gonna let him repair his base because it seems like the classic uh, naked base, you know, <laughs> and these guys came full kits to try to raid them, so it's not like uh, the most fair raid ever, so yeah. Well, not, not like we got a lot of stuff from this fight, <laughs> to be honest. But well, at least we saved these guys, and that's, that's something for sure. After that, I decided to go to the metro just for 30 or 40 minutes, and I got a ridiculous amount of components. I don't know what do you guys think about Metro, but I feel like it's kind of OP though, like, I mean, look at this, I, I got more than a thousand scrap in 30 minutes.
Ah, fuck. That hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna come back fast. They ran away already though. I'm gonna try to find them. Oh, there you go. This is one of the guys. Actually, I'm gonna go outside with MP5 for now because they know where's my base, so they might try to rob me again. MP5 feels so weird without the uh, holocide though. Oh, what the heck? I can't move. My windows pop up. What? <laughs> that guy must be so disappointed. I, I was just out of running in a straight line. Get fucking rolled. Well, they got me one AK, which is probably worth for them, but at least I made them come naked all the time now. I swear they are gonna be waiting for me with the visa to my base or some shit like this. <laughs> I don't know where are the others actually. Well, I guess he came solo.
Oh, what the heck? This guy got 22 textures, what? After killing this guy's in water treatment, I went to recycle the stuff to the bandit camp. Also, I came later to recycle some of the comps that I got from farming the metro before, and that got me a pretty decent amount of scrap. Well, by that time, I'd been playing in this server for less than a day, and I was happy with what I accomplished. So, I decided to research some essential groupings for next wipe. And lastly, I gave my base to another fellow solo player, so that he could leave his own story in this server. If you are watching this, I really hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for being here. There is a lot more coming, so I'll see you in the next one.